everyone tells you to count calories if you want to lose weight. Well, I'm going to go against that and I'm going to tell you, if you're a mama, you need to stop counting calories if you actually want to see the weight come off. If you're not already, make sure that you subscribe and join us here in the family that we have here on the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. If you've been on this channel for a while, then you know that I recently had a baby, well, about nine months ago, <laughs> I had a baby and I put on over 25 kilos during that pregnancy and I've lost most of that weight now. And I've done it without dieting, without counting calories, and I still enjoyed food that I loved. So let's get into it. Why do people talk about calories when it comes to losing weight? I covered this briefly in a previous video where I talked about how weight loss works in the body. I'll link it above and in the description. Calories mean energy, right? Like your calories are what give you energy. And in order for you to lose weight, you need fat that is being stored on your body to be mobilized, to be moved, to be broken down, to provide you with energy. How is that gonna happen? You essentially aren't taking in as much energy from the food that you're consuming. You're not gaining as many calories from those foods. And as a result, your body's like, okay, we need to figure out what we're doing here. We need some energy. So let's break down some of that fat. I mean, it's not as simple as that, but basically that is kind of the gist of what needs to happen. A lot of people will say weight loss is a really simple mass equation where calories in minus calories out equal whether you're going to gain, sustain or lose weight. If only it was that simple. It really is not that simple because calories aren't the only things that you need to look at. And let's be real, <laughs> let's be real. If it was that simple, then you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have struggled with every calorie deficit diet that you've been on. If it was simple, there would be no weight loss industry. I say this all the time. Like if it was that simple, people would not be finding themselves in difficulty when it comes to losing weight. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried a calorie deficit diet. Did it work for you? Did you enjoy it? What were your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. There's a thing to remember when it comes to a calorie deficit diet. You're being told to reduce your calories, right? Like just eat less. But calories are not like for like. The calories that you get from, let's say, chicken are not gonna be the same as the calories that you get from potatoes. Yes, both of them are gonna be giving you energy. Those calories are a representation of the energy the food provides. But the way that that food is being used in your body is different. And is different in the sense that the way it then is being broken down, the way it's being used is gonna impact your weight loss or weight gain journey that you're on because they, induce different responses inside your body and that's where calories are not like for like protein carbs and fats are all used in different ways inside the body so the other thing to mention here as well is that with this idea of calorie deficit technically you could be eating mcdonald's every single day and still be losing weight but are you somebody who is losing weight because you want to feel healthy or is it just that you want to look skinny ultimately the food that you're choosing is also going to be giving you nutrition you don't want to be eating empty calories where it's calories that you're gaining but you're not actually getting any nutritional benefit from it because ultimately that's not going to make you feel good in yourself you really have to think about why are you on this journey what is it that weight loss is representing to you for a lot of mums it's that they want to have energy to be strong to be confident in themselves in their ability to parent their children you can still feel tired and exhausted even if you're doing this calorie deficit thing to try and lose weight because if you're not addressing the nutrition then you will find yourself stuck where you are when it comes to the energy levels and how you're feeling within yourself. The next thing that's important to touch on is hormones because hormones play a big part in our bodies. The food that you have impacts some of the hormones that are gonna be released. Insulin is a huge factor that impacts people's weight loss. Insulin is the hormone that's released when you have glucose in your bloodstream. Its role is to take that glucose and basically pack it away and put it into the places it needs to go. And what insulin does, it promotes storing fat. Insulin isn't a hormone that helps you lose fat. It's a hormone that causes you to put fat on because one of the ways that glucose is going to be stored is as fat. Insulin spikes when you eat food that releases glucose. So if you're constantly eating or you're having multiple meals, your insulin is going to be constantly being released and if you're in a state where you've constantly got insulin on board do you think that's going to help you with weight loss of course it's not because the insulin is there to pile on the fat not to help you lose the fat so yeah you can be in a calorie deficit and you can have reduced your calories but if you're not really addressing the, the hormonal aspect to it then yeah you might still lose some weight i'm not saying that you're not going to lose weight if you're in a calorie deficit but ultimately the bigger goal you have of how much you want to lose you might not achieve it if you aren't addressing 
all the other aspects that come with trying to lose weight so you're probably like okay fine so don't count calories don't be in a calorie deficit how do how do i do this like how there's a few basic things that you need to keep in your mind number one is that this is a long-term journey i know you're not gonna like that i say this because everyone wants weight loss to happen really quickly it's not gonna happen quickly if you want the weight to stay off and you don't want to have to keep dieting and going back and basically being in the same spot then you need to accept that it's going to take a bit of time for you to get to where you want to be but with that time means that it will be a state that you're going to maintain if you're constantly going back and forth with dieting we know and i've said it here before the research supports that this is going to lead you to put more weight on in the long term than actually keeping it off so the slow steady journey is the one that is going to get you to where you want to be and help you stay where you want to be the second thing is the most important factor that has helped me with my weight loss journey and has helped many of my clients is to recognize your hunger, recognize when you are actually hungry, what that looks like to you and your body, what that feels like to you, and basically owning the hunger. If you know when you're hungry, then you know it is time to eat for yourself. And if you know that you're full up or that you're feeling content then you know you don't really need to eat and if you're finding yourself wanting to pick at something maybe it's something else that is driving that habit not the fact that you are hungry this is going to allow you to be really in tune with your body and really understand how to be mindful in the moment when it comes to eating it's not about just like eat less because you can eat less and if you're not feeling content and you're finding yourself still hungry then you're more likely to binge and you're more likely to then grab at other food that ultimately is going to harm the journey that you have put yourself on. I'm going to link a video that I've done on the hunger scale above and in the description because really understanding your hunger goes a long way when you are on a weight loss journey. And along with that understanding your hunger, it's a simple thing. Eat when you're hungry and stop when you're not. It's harder said than done because often we have got really ingrained habits when it comes to our eating and we often tend to use food as a way to cope with other aspects of our lives especially when you're a mum who is sleep deprived when you're stressed when you've got all these rugrats running after you wanting every piece of you even when you've probably got like hardly any pieces left to give them it's a very stressful and food is often something that we use to comfort ourselves with but the more we get in tune with our hunger and we recognize what our physical hunger is the more we can then eat that hunger and stop when we're not physically hungry to address the other issues and the last point is to understand nutrition i'm not saying go get a degree in nutrition like that's not needed but just having a basic understanding of what carbs are what proteins are what fats are what they do in your body what kind of foods fall into those different categories understanding that is going to help you to basically come up with meal ideas which you enjoy that are going to incorporate all those elements and still be healthy while be enjoyable because one of the problems that often women find is that they want to lose weight but they feel like the food they like isn't going to be healthy and they don't know how to take their favorite meals and make them into slightly healthier versions or to increase the nutrition in that meal so that they can still enjoy it but have a little bit extra making sure you're getting that knowledge from somebody who is qualified who knows what they're talking about is also equally important i hope that you guys have found this video useful if you're interested in finding out more about how you can work with me so that you can really make it happen with your weight loss journey then there is a link in the description to book a call and come and have a chat with me so we can see how we can work together Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've you know got a few spare minutes and you want to learn a little bit more about your weight loss then here's a few videos that you can check out but until next time guys take care bye